Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. We are going to be doing my beauty rehab and um, yeah, <laughs> January was supposed to be a no buy month for me. Let me just turn on this um, little bit of brightness here. So January was supposed to be a no buy month for me. I'm on, uh, well, I was on a no buy, but I bought some stuff in January, as you will see in a second. These are all my empties and I'm going to talk about them. Now there's not going to be as many empties as last year. So you're not going to see all of my samples, my perfume samples, my foil samples. The only things you're going to see samples of are deluxe sizes like this one, this one, this one, this one. Those kind of things are going to count towards points. But all of my points, I have to have two items rolling out in order to bring one item in to my project or to my collection. So that being said, you're not going to see as much leaving my collection this year because I'm not sharing every single foil sample. If you want to see all of my samples get used, definitely check out my turn and burn project pan because that is where the magic happens and that's where you're going to see all of that stuff. So what you're going to see from now on, strictly this year anyway, is the deluxe size, mini size, full size, and jumbo size products. So that includes um, individual use masks as well as um, foot masks, hand masks, any kind of sheet mask that is kind of like this one those are also counting as one item because it's like one item coming in and one item coming out so um so let's talk a little bit about the stuff that I have here and then we'll talk a little bit more about my failure in January and a little bit why that happened um so we'll start at the beginning so I have this L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation and I mean, I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan of powder foundation anymore like this. I don't mind a loose translucent powder, but a powder foundation is just, it looks too cakey on my skin. And I'm trying to go for a light, glowy, um, just sort of neutral effect. Like I don't want it to be like it used to be where I used to wear pounds of makeup and now this is just too much. So I'm glad I have one of these out of my collection and I would like to get all the other ones in my collection used up. And I do have a few other ones in my collection that I don't mind, which are KBD and Patrick, Patrick stars one size, but I don't necessarily need them. So I'm not going to be buying any more of these. These are going to be a no buy in my collection for now. Even if I want a different shade in something, I'm going to try not to buy it. Um, loose powders is the only thing that I'm allowing myself to really buy this year because my collection has slowly been growing, but I would like to try as many as I can. That being said, I don't want to overbuy. So long story short, this is emptied. It was okay. If you're looking for just a powder foundation and not putting a foundation under it, this is nice, but it's also dusty and you need to have some kind of a set down spray, like a finishing spray, like a Mac Fix Plus or something to set it and to not even set it, but like just to make it look not so dusty on the face. Um, because I think setting this uh, with a setting spray, that's going to be something like um, Urban Decay All Nighter or, you know, Cali, the Cali Ray one, anything like that is going to still show the powder you need something that's going to minimize the look of the powder. So that would be like a fix plus or something. So um, not going to be buying these anymore, although it is a nice product. It's just not for me. Plus I'm using one right now and I'll show you. I'm currently using this one for a couple of uses and I don't remember it smelling this bad. It is so perfumed. This L'Oreal brand has the most old lady smelling products. I absolutely love L'Oreal as a brand, honestly. I do. I love a lot of the products. They're really, really good. But the amount of fragrance in this and also the conditioner I was using, ugh, I will never rebuy the L'Oreal conditioner. It smells like old lady perfume and I just cannot. So they need to rethink their scents in their stuff because I'm just not interested in it. Um... So anyways, the next thing we have is a Laneige lip balm. This is or a lip mask. Don't mind the ink on my hand. I was putting ink in my fountain pens today, um, but this one is completed. This was in the scent Mint Choco. That was really lovely. I also have this Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil from my friend Andrea. She gave me this. Uh, it looks like there's stuff in here, but this is completely empty. I even opened it all up and... Um, 
put my brush in there and like wiped everything out with my brush. So whatever is on there is like remnants that are on the side of the packaging. There's absolutely nothing left in here. And then um, I have a Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have a Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade White Russian. I have a Shiseido. It's called Treatment Softener Enriched. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. This is on my list to rebuy down the road probably. So what I should be saying to you guys too is I'm going to try and do no buy from now until the next Sephora sale. And at the next Sephora sale, I will allow myself to purchase a few things and this will probably be one of them. And those, I'm not sure if they'll count against my points, but more than likely I'll do that because that's the whole premise of this. But I was giving myself two Sephora sales this year to buy things and replenish things as I needed. And I thought two purchases in the year wouldn't be terrible as opposed to like all the purchases I have done in January, which I'll go over soon. But this is fantastic. I don't want to over overlook the point of the fact that this Shiseido product is stunning. It feels so good on the skin. My skin misses it. It's not as hydrated now. I love this. It's so good. I highly recommend this. Um, also, I have an Olaplex number no. three hair perfecter. This is really lovely as well. Uh, and then we have the Coral Organics Turmeric Glow Moisturizer. And this is a refillable component, so I will essentially keep this down the road. But this is an $84 moisturizer. Now, I'm going to be giving you guys all the prices of everything that's here as of today's price at regular value. That's not necessarily what I paid. Obviously, I didn't pay really for these things. They were sort of like freebies, plus this was gifted to me. But it still counts coming in, or this one didn't count coming in, but it definitely counts going out. But... um. I didn't pay for everything at the regular price. This one I bought at a discount, but my totals are all regular price at the time I view it. So just so you guys know, when I give you my month end total of what I use up in the month does not mean that that is what I paid for everything. So the next one we have is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Love these. Cannot wait to get these back in my collection and use these because my skin misses this as well. And um, it's definitely something that will be on my next Sephora purchase, as will this from Solwasu. It's First Care Activating Serum. This is amazing. Amazing. If you guys can get this, please try this. It's so good. I really, really encourage you to just allow this on your skin and see how much it appreciates it. It's just such a fantastic product. Um, also, the lip injection from Too Faced. This is the Extreme, and it is supposed to be clear, but of course, I wear nude lipstick, so that's why it looks the way that it does. But that one is done, and it's a mini. I have a couple of eyelashes that I'm finished. So, this is the Ioni. Um, wispy medium length i think that's what it says and then one of these from amazon this is expensive actually when i bought it it was like 15 bucks but this is only a dollar 50 but there's only two uses worth in here so i use one row one day and one row another day what is up with all that rainbowing can you guys see that oh my gosh anyway it looks like it's holographic i think that's why um the staple is the l'oreal magic root cover-up in dark brown I absolutely love this stuff. I have a lot of gray hair and this just saves me. And I also have a Peter Thomas Roth anti-aging cleansing gel. If you want to get your makeup off of your face, this is how you do it. It is so good and it's a huge, huge container, 250 mils for $53.00. That's Canadian, by the way. Such a good value for what you're getting. You don't need a lot at all, and it cleans your face. Um, and then we have the, I don't even know what brand this is, Ren something, Sea Minerals Dry Shampoo. This smells so delicious, and it was only $8 from um, Winners. Absolutely love it. And then I have the Play from Supergoop, and it's an Everyday SPF 50. And oh, love it. Love it, love it. You get um, 162 mils for $46. I think that's fantastic. And then a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating um, Face Mask with Hyaluronic Acid. Love it. My skin loves Hyaluronic Acid. So these are all the MTs. I have a total of 18, which means I have nine points. Now we're going to move over to this side, and it looks like a hot mess of a bunch of stuff. So please forgive me. This is not... Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say, <laughs> but I will explain as I go. So 
I had originally purchased the Laura Mercier loose powder because I was allowing myself to buy loose powder this year and I wanted this because it's the year of the dragon. It has it on the dragon on top of the packaging and it's red so of course it's a total gen item and I really love this powder so I wanted to get that and with that I got my birthday gift which is this. I didn't actually want this honestly but this is a freebie item which means it doesn't cost coming in. And it is the Youth of the People, but I absolutely love Youth of the People. I love all of these items. Every single item in here has been really good for my skin. So absolutely love that. And uh, let me move this over here. I got these from Give because I wanted to get this freebie thing and I only needed to spend five more dollars and this was on sale for like 14. So that's the only reason I purchased this. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have brought it in. But it is a mascara and an eyeliner. So... I'm not even sure if I'm going to hang on to this, but I am going to count myself a point for this. Anything that comes as a kit like this, I, I charge myself, um, I guess it would be two points, right? So anything that's coming in is costing me two points. So that would essentially cost me two points, but not because there's two items, only because it's bought like that. And I wasn't going to do that this year, but I am still going to work it that way. Um, I also bought myself the Bobbi Brown Plump and Prep Vitamin and Rich Set. It is a face base and an eye base, and I really wanted this set back in my life, so that one is coming in. Also, I ordered this because I really enjoyed this JLo. It's called That Blockbuster Wonder Cream, and I had this in a little sample, and I'll show you uh, an example of what it looked like. This is the serum as a sample of the serum but it had the same packaging and I wish the wonder cream came in this style of packaging and I wish you could buy it as a mini because I love that the way that that was and I could store it in my um, vanity because it's tiny and I don't have a lot of space as you guys can tell so I bought this because it was so good and it was 50% off and it's really 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 good I love it and I love mixing them with my foundations I feel like it's one of the best moisturizers that I found to combine in with my face moisturizer or my um, foundations. I, I don't know what it is, but it just works so well with every foundation. And then I also ordered this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the Cotton Candy one. This is the swirl that is, let me see if I can open this with one hand. But it is the swirl and it comes with a little, um, stick. I don't want to drop that, but oh, mine seems open. I don't like that. I'm glad I opened this. Hang on. Okay, it's sealed at the top anyway, so that's good. But you can see that it's got the swirl in it, and I know that's so ridiculous to buy something because it has a swirl, but I love the cotton candy scent, so that is why I ordered that. It was definitely not a needed purchase. I'm telling you right now, I need to be better. I'm doing pretty good considering but I mean, this is still bad. <laughs> this is still way more than I needed. Um, I also, for my birthday from MAC, I got a free eyeliner. This is the gel pencil eyeliner in the shade Sick Tat Bro. Seriously? <laughs> Whatever. And then the MAC Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm. This is their new skin line or newish skin line. And this is really lovely. I have used a sample, a teeny tiny sample of that before that I got in Las Vegas. And it was really lovely. And then um, I also brought in the LYS No Limits Contour Stick. And I have been having this on my list forever. And it's in the shade Motivate in the light shade. Let me just show you there. It's a really, really light shade. And I have been wanting to try that for some time. And it was finally in stock. And same thing with this LYS um, Skin Loyalty Blur Mattify Set Makeup Setting Spray. So technically... I didn't need this because I still have some all-nighter setting sprays, but of course that one was back in stock as well, and so I ordered that. I just need to do better. I really need to do better. Anyway, um, and then I got the Laura Mercier. This is... I watched Johnny Ross again. He is very much an influencer when it comes to me buying stuff, <laughs> me personally. Um... He influences me a lot, but this is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation, and I got mine in the shade 2W1 Macadamia, and I'm very excited to try this. I will be doing a review on this. This is why I bought this, and I have been really enjoying a lot of foundation, so 
that's why I ordered that one and I also ordered this one to do a review as well it is the MAC Studio Radiant Serum Powdered Foundation and it is a radiant foundation which means it's glowy and gorgeousness and I wanted to try this and we'll be doing a review on that so those were unnecessary purchases <sighs> so I had ordered the LYS the LYS this here and the lip sleeping mask in order to get this set for free there's a bunch of samples in here and this one came with a previous purchase and I can't remember I think it was just from this one and I don't I don't know what else I don't I don't think anything else but I got this with a whole bunch of samples in here and the reason I wanted it was because of the C Firma one because it's $103 Canadian to buy this as a single item so I thought oh, if I can get it for free with a bunch of other samples I will so I was stupid and got things for samples now I completely lucked out I did not know um, where my totals were going to be when it comes to all of this stuff versus all of this stuff. So I have nine total points in my beauty bank and all of these, not ex not counting the ones that were free for my birthday and stuff, equal nine points. So I very much lucked out here and I need to do better. I need to do so much better. So, Leave me a, a supportive comment, please. I would really love not to be shamed. Um, I'm really trying hard to make better purchases, but I have been going through a lot in life. I'm going through a transition at work and there's just so much going on in my regular life. I'm trying to go back to the gym now and work on health because health is so important. Mental health as well. Like, there's just so much going on. It's of course like not things that I would, I don't want to share all my personal stuff on the internet. I just feel like it's not necessary on my beauty channel. That's not what this channel is about. Um, all I can say is I emotionally shopped for those four items, the LYS, the LYS, the Give One, and the Laneige. I did not need this, this one. The only reason I got this is because of this. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I'm counting the points right now because I brought it in and I'll more than likely end up keeping it, but it was an unnecessary purchase completely, as were the other things. But um, am I disappointed in my purchases? No. Am I disappointed in myself that I actually made the purchase? Yes. So I would really love to hear any sort of supportive comment that you have for me moving forward because I'm going to be doing a no buy now. And... Um, I do need, I, I, I thrive on positive reinforcement rather than criticism, if that makes sense. I'm sure everybody would. So the more I feel supported, the better I'll do. And it's not like I'm putting this on other people. I definitely need to do this myself, but I just wanted to put it out there because that's just how I roll. That's how I work. So, um, I'm very excited to be able to try these items and I would love to know in the comments as well, which item you would like to see me review. But um, as for that, I'm proud of myself for all of it. I'm going to move back now. So sorry if you're getting dizzy, but I'm very proud of myself for all the stuff that I got out of my collection. This, this is really wonderful. Although it is a lot of really tiny, teeny, tiny stuff. I am going to be working on getting a lot of my smaller stuff out as well as my full size. But I always have like two or three moisturizers of full size on the go at one time because my I need to change it up for my skin. So some will be more of a serum moisturizer. Some will just be for dry parched skin. Some will have a hyaluronic acid in it. Also, I will also use those things um, like niacinamide, dew drops, hyaluronic acid, some kind of serum or toner or essence. I will always use these things, <coughs> excuse me, in my regular skin regime. So you'll always see stuff like that showing up in here. Um, but I'm proud of myself for all the things I got out, honestly. I didn't think I was going to get even nearly this much stuff. And I think February, even though it's a short month, I'm hoping that I will be able to see a bunch of things come out in February. That being said, and this is a, a very informative video <laughs> about my low buy, but February, um, not even just February, the whole year is going to be based on mostly usages. And that is why you're also going to see a lot less products rolling out here is because most of my most of my 
progress this year is going to be usage based because I need to get to know my collection and what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. So it's definitely a more discovery year than it is a project planning year. But um, I really hope you guys join me on this journey because it is very important to understand your collection, know what you're interested in and not neglect things. And if you find that you're not touching stuff, it's maybe time to let it go. So, and I don't give myself points for decluttering something, even though it cost me bringing it in because I don't know, I just, for some reason, my mind tells me that's just not fair. So let me know in the comments what you think. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I wanted to tell you the total for all of this is $361.19. So I will give you guys my monthly total every single month, but yeah, $361.19. So not my shiniest month ever. I almost reached a thousand dollars one year, but I don't foresee doing that at all in 2024. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!